Welcome back to the Blurred HQ. I'm your host, David, and we are talking about Indianapolis PopCon. I went to Indianapolis PopCon this past weekend. I guess I should say Indie PopCon. It was May 30th through June the 1st. I was only able to go to one day, which was um, Saturday, which was May 31st, but I had an awesome, awesome time. It was crazy. I'm actually a little sick now, and I know I've been away. I haven't done any... I, um, a comic book, <laughs> a new comic book day uh, haul video, but I'm going to do that tomorrow, um, and so look for that video coming, but this is Indie PopCon haul, um, and, well, let's just start. Um, so, you know, everybody's been to PopCon conventions or Wizard World conventions, and they always have this really cool stuff that you can get, like um, I got those I actually had ten of them, but I've given a lot of them away, and I think I lost one but um and then this was for gleaners um food pantry um so that was kind of like a fundraiser for them to get people um to donate um uh, to uh the call so that was cool that four left, so we'll see what we'll do something with those. And then, since I do have a podcast, which you guys have, have you guys have heard me talk about the podcast before, uh, you can go to the five by five dot blogspot dot com and the five numeric to check out the podcast and also the blurred hq dot blogspot dot com. There's my press pass. It just shows everything that was um, there. Um, and it was for three days, so that was pretty cool. I got that, and then this was their program and um it kind of showed um what was going on where certain things were if you were going to be in indianapolis on what you could do so um just told you what you know this this basic program and uh what you should do what you should check out where to go who all the guests were going to be there um as you can see um, there was Ryan Glass, Sylvester McCoy, Kristen Naren, SMA Bianco, Paul and Storm, Nicholas Brendan, John DiMaggio, Joel Hogston. Sorry about the light. For some reason, it's dark in here today, um, among others. And then had a little checklist of the, the uh, indie games that were started um, and showcased during Indie Pop Con. So I thought that was cool. And this little other stuff, really not that big of a deal, but that was the program. Um, but the big thing for me was, you know, a few weeks ago, or a few, the last issue of Buffy the Vampire, yeah, a couple weeks ago, the last issue of Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 10, Episode 3, um, I told you guys that Nicholas Brendan has started writing and co-writing um, on the book. So I got, took my copy and had it signed, and he says, uh, David, <laughs> I wrote this in Brandon, Nicholas Brandon. So I thought that was cool. So I got that signed from him. Um, also, got a really cool photo op with him and my niece. We had a lot of fun. He was really cool, um, just really down to earth. Um, they was given away given away this Oz book by Zenoscope. Uh, Zenoscope. Um, haven't read it yet, but I'm sure I'll look into it. This is another new one called The Red Goddess. Haven't read it yet. The one that I did read was this one here. Now, when I tell you, I, you know, you get shocked by television shows by something that's going on, but when I tell you. Um, this guy's name is Jeffrey D. D. Wessel. Um, there's his card right there. Um, he wrote this, and it's a mature readers only. But, you know, I'm like, you know, how hard can it be? It's about soccer. I didn't know that this, there was that's a bloody handprint because this guy ends up being a serial killer. And, I mean, it's crazy. And I like the end of the story, but 
I think he's on Comixology, so look him up. He's also on Twitter. His name is Jeffrey D. Wessel. So if you go to gdwessel.com, uh, you can see everything um, that he has written. He also is a part of a book uh, that's been uh, nominated for an Eisner Award. So check that out. And then I just picked up some stuff. You know, I needed Firestorm 5, 10, and 11, so I did get 11. Couldn't find 5 and 10, um, so that's another thing that I got. My price possession, <laughs> which I really, really like. You know, I got a blank cover of Justice League United. It's not a comic that I'm going forward with because I didn't like the story, but I had a caricature made of me and Martian Manhunter on the front, and I absolutely love this. I, it's one of the best things that I got uh, during Indie Pop Con, and there I am. And on the cover, you know, you get those blank variants, and I've been so now, but now I want to get more. I, 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 it's in my blood that I have to get more. Um, second up was Larry Hama. This is a Wolverine issue number 50. It's like a 22-year-old book, and the author of this particular book, Larry Hama, uh, he was there giving autographs and signing. So there um, is his signature, his autograph, and he also did a sketch on my Avengers World number one, which Wolverine is in this. So he did a Wolverine sketch for me on the front and he signed it, if you can see that. So pretty cool stuff. Um, and last but not least, uh, if you remember uh, Survivor, if you still watch Survivor, probably the most impressive person to me the whole time I was there was this guy right here, uh, Rupert Bonham. Boneham. Uh, he was on, I forget what uh, year of Survivor, but this guy, I did buy a shirt from him, but he wasn't selling stuff. He was taking donations for his organization, Rupert's Kids um, dot org, and it's um, it's to help kids to realize their potential, even the ones who have kind of fallen through the cracks. So um, I thought that was really really cool that he's taking his time and the money that he's generating and putting it back into his foundation, which is really kid, really cool kid, cool. <laughs> and lastly, I got a really cool shirt from the Geek City Guide. They gave me this because I didn't win the contest, but it was really, really nice. Um, if you go to geekcityguides.com, you can check out those guys over there because they're trying to bring you a database of all the geek, whether it's a shop, um, a convention, an event. Um, they're trying to bring you all that information in one spot. So I hope you guys had a great week. Um, look for the New Comic Book Day haul uh, video later on this week. Thank you guys for listening, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.